my hi hat. And I have looked up a few different uh, ways to do this. So I'm kind of doing a collage of um, things. So, first step is I'm going to clean it with Brasso, um, cleans and polishes. I like it more for its cleaning effects. So we're going to start with the hi-hat and I'm going to just kind of document the process here as I go along. Get some squirt some around like this. Hope I have enough for all of these symbols. And then I'm just going to swirl it all around. Okay, so after you've covered the whole surface uh, with the Brasso, you're just going to let it sit for like, I don't know, 10 to 20 minutes depending on the temperature of your room. The thing of it is you just don't want it to dry super hard on there. It just makes it a pain to get off. I mean, maybe it'll help it more, but you really just, you're only going to get so much out of one attempt of cleaning with Brasso. Uh, I do do one earlier. Take these off now. Um, but I'll show you what it looks like when you let it sit on too long. I have a china crash. And you can see when you let it sit on, pretty much hardens on there. And this is the same brass. I didn't do anything to the surface of this china beforehand. This is an 18 inch china, china crash. And it was just equally as tarnished. But I left it on there and uh, the Brasso actually turned blue and green. I don't know if you can see that. Um, turned blue and green um, after it stayed on there. It originally went on like a white, then changed colors after it dried. Maybe that has something to do with the tarnish that it's taking off. Okay, so before this dries, I'm going to put the Brasso on the rest of my symbols. So I just cleaned off uh, my symbols after the first use of Brasso and it, I've noticed it left this weird swirl marks kind of in matching of where I rubbed on the Brasso. I did it on the China. Um, it did it on the hi-hat and I'm assuming it's just so tarnished that I'm going to um, I did it on the ride too a little bit. You can see that there in the reflection. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use Brasso one more time. Okay, so one thing I'm going to try is, with getting that weird pattern, is I'm going to go with the grooves on the symbol. Like some grooves have these lines in them. Um, doing rotations with, with it. So this is just an experiment. Um, do it with so that it maybe won't leave such noticeable marks when you're all done, uh, instead of just being kind of random and chaotic, it'll be with the pattern that's already on the symbol. So. Now we're going to let them sit for another 15 minutes. 